Good morning, Beavers. Hope you all slept well again last night in your dens. I slept like a bear last night. Hope you all had a great day. The fun's not quite over yet. Before we get started, just a quick message for the parents in regards to the Bear Hunt badges. If you open the link in an independent web explorer instead of via Facebook, it should work that way. Facebook's playing with us this weekend. Over the weekend, we've had a few birthdays, so a massive happy birthday to Riley from 15th Brighton. We've got Freddie from 8th Worcester, Riley from 3rd Bromsgrove, and Jamie from 7th Bromsgrove. Happy birthday. If any of you other beavers celebrated your birthday, we hope you had an amazing weekend. Now, let's get started. First of all, we're going to make our own salt dough bears. So, for this, you'll need a large mixing bowl, some flour, and some salt. Now, the measures I've got is two cups of flour, one cup of salt, and then one cup of water. But I put the water in a jug just to make it that little bit easier to pour. So, first of all, we need to go and wash our hands. We add the flour to our bowl. We add the salt to our bowl. I'm using a spatula to mix, but you could use a wooden spoon. Mix the flour and the salt together. Now you might need an adult to help you with this next bit because you have to do it really, really slowly, okay? So, water, slowly add it into your salt and your flour and keep mixing all the time. It'll start to get a bit tough, so if it gets too tough for you, get an adult to help you mix, okay? And just keep adding it nice and slowly. We don't want it too wet. Right, mine's starting to come together quite nice now. Right, once it starts to get like that, we now need to use our hands, okay? And we literally squeeze it all together until the lumps and all the flour are mixed in. So a bit like dough, so a bit a bit like how your dough was for your biscuits yesterday once it had been in the fridge. If it's a little too sticky, you can always add a little bit more flour. If it's a little too dry, add a little bit more water. Okay? And we're left with something like that. Now, what you need to do is you sprinkle your sides with a little bit of flour and you've got a couple of options. You can make a teddy bear so it's nice and chunky and 3D, or you can roll it out and make one a little bit like that. Okay? Once you've got your teddy bear shape, you put it in the oven with adult help. On the instructions, it says about 100 degrees C in an electric oven. I had mine in yesterday on about 130 degrees for a couple of hours, so it dries and it's nice and hard. Once it's dry and it's cooled down, we need to paint it. Any types of paint will do. If you haven't got any paints, you could always add some food colouring into the dough before you make your bear. So, that's your first job this morning, okay? That'll take a good couple of hours to do because of it going in the oven. So in the meantime, whilst your bears are in the oven, we've got another job. 
we want you to tell us where you want to go on your bear hunt. Is it a bear you want to hunt for? Is it a dragon, a unicorn? You tell us, your parents should have a template for this. So if they've got that, if not, just a piece of paper and write down your perfect bear hunt. Once you've done that, post photos to our Facebook, Scouts Hereford and Worcester, using the hashtag Scouts HW Bear Hunt. That's it for this morning, Beavers. I'll be back here with you live at 11 o'clock for our close of camp. Enjoy the activities, have lots of fun, and I'm looking forward to seeing all those photos. See you later.